You owe, you owe a lot of people money. Is there anything you'd like to say to them? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. How are you able to continue to open businesses? 13 Investigates is pressing this businessman accused of bad business multiple times and now theft. Now, in the face of massive debt, he's scheduled to stand trial. Good evening. I'm Heather Skoll. And I'm Bart Bedsoll. Thanks for joining us. We begin at 6 with the latest chapter in a series of civil cases that our 13 Investigates team has been following for more than a year. Forsham Williams, a business owner facing a long list of theft allegations, made a court appearance today where he learned the start date for a new trial he is now facing. Cardio 13 investigator Quinn Ritzdorf is live at the El Paso County Courthouse to bring us up to speed on this saga. Quinn. Yeah, Forsham Williams Jr. rarely lifted his head in court today during a hearing that accused him of stealing an ice cream business from its previous owner. And he refused to answer our questions about the hundreds of thousands of dollars he owes the man he bought that business from. More than four hundred thousand dollars. Is there anything you'd like to say? That's how much money court records allege Forsham Williams Jr. owes Mike Van Schooneveld. Williams bought Blue Mountain Creamery from him, but never paid the full amount. So Van Schooneveld sued, and a judge ordered Williams LLC to pay four hundred and forty-three thousand dollars. So far, Van Schooneveld hasn't seen a dime. Instead, a new lawsuit alleges Williams used the money to open a new ice cream shop called the Creamery and Monument. It's emotionally upsetting. Um, it's, it's a very strange thing to see because it's like seeing someone steal your car and then just watching them driving it around in front of you. In court today, Williams told the judge the allegations aren't true, but he refused to answer our questions about how he is able to continue to open businesses despite such large debt. You say you don't have any money, but yet you continue to open businesses. Why is that? How are you able to continue to open businesses? <laughs> how are you able to continue to open businesses with this amount, amount of huge debt? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. How are you able to continue to open businesses? Williams avoided judgment against himself, telling a judge back in August he had no assets and was filing for bankruptcy. But in court today, eight months later, that same judge revealed Williams hasn't filed for bankruptcy, even though he claims he still plans to do so. I also have to do a few other things. There are some steps in bankruptcy court that it is requiring me to do, comply with before. I can file for bankruptcy. So now Van Schooneveld is going after Williams himself for civil theft and fraud. His technique so far has just been to make excuses, blow past stuff. If anyone calls him or contacts him, say, oh, that's not me. I don't know what that's about. And just think if you keep kicking the can down the road, maybe people will stop following you. In court today, the judge set a jury trial date in October for this civil case. Reporting live from the El Paso County Courthouse, Cornerstorf, Cardio, 13 Investigates.